So we are already on lesson 5, which is the roots and coefficients of quadratic equations. So we will learn about the following, the use of the discriminant, the sum and product of the roots, and lastly, how to determine the equation using the roots. So let's have first the discriminant. So we've learned about the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So the b squared minus 4ac here is what we call the discriminant of our quadratic equation. So let's have now the use of this discriminant. So first, if it is greater than 0, if it is equal to 0, and lastly, if it is less than 0. So if it is greater than 0, therefore, it has two real solutions which are real and unequal. If it is equal to 0, therefore, it has only one solution, which are real and equal. And lastly, if it is less than 0, of course, it has no real number of solution, meaning to say it has imaginary and unequal solutions. Now, let's have the first example, x squared minus 8x is equal to 0. So our a here is 1, b is negative 8, and c is equal to 0. So we will simply substitute this to our discriminant. So we have negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 0. So we have 64 minus 0 is equal to 64. So the discriminant here is greater than 0. Therefore, it has two real solutions. Okay, second example. So we have 25x squared plus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. So A here is 25, B is 10, and the constant is 1. So again, let's substitute. So we have 10 squared minus 4 times 25 times 1. So that's 100 minus 100, and that's it. that is equal to 0. So the discriminant here is equal to 0, so therefore, it has one real solution. Okay, third example. So we have here A is 2, B is negative 3, and C is positive 4. So we substitute on the formula. So we have negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times 4. So we have 9 minus 32, and that gives us negative 23. So the discriminant here is less than 0, so therefore it has no real number of solution. Okay, now, this time, let's find the sum and product of the roots of our quadratic equation. So the formula for the sum, we have negative b over a. So the, the r sub 1 and r sub 2 there are the roots of our quadratic equation. The formula for the product, we have c over a. Okay, now let's have the first example. So we have a is 1, b is negative 3, and c is negative 28. So the formula, or let's find the sum and product. So for the formula for the sum, we have negative b over a. So let's substitute. So negative times negative 3 over 1. So we have 3 over 1. So r sub 1 plus r sub 2 there is equal to 3. So therefore, the sum of the roots there is equal to 3. Okay, for the product of the roots, the formula is C over A. So let's substitute. So negative 28 over 1. So that gives us negative 28. So therefore, the product of the roots there is equal to negative 28. Okay, let's have the second example. So we are going to rewrite this first into standard form. So we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So A here is equal to 2, then B is negative 4, this time our C is equal to 1. Now for the sum, we have negative B over A, so let's substitute. So we have negative times negative 4 over 2. So we have here 4 over 2, so the sum of the roots here is equal to 2. Okay, for the product of the roots, we have 1 over 2. So therefore, the product of the roots here is equal to 1 half. Okay, third example we have. So let's rewrite first. 3x squared minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. So a here is 3. Then b is negative 2. And the constant is equal to negative 2. 
So the sum of the roots there is equal to negative b over a. So we have a negative times negative 2 over 3. So we have here the sum of the roots is equal to 2 over 3. Okay, for the product of the roots, we have c over a. So we have negative 2 over 3. So the product of the roots is equal to negative 2 thirds. Okay, so this time, given the roots, let's determine the quadratic equation. Okay, so the formula here, so x squared minus sum of x plus the product is equal to 0. So we know that the sum of x or the sum is equivalent to r sub 1 plus r sub 2 times x. And the product of the roots, we have r sub 1 times r sub 2 is equal to 0. And we will be using this formula. Okay, so let's have the first example. Again, the formula, we have x squared minus the sum of the x plus the product is equal to 0. Okay, let's copy x squared. Okay, sum, we have 7 plus negative 2, copy the x. Plus the product, so therefore, 7 times negative 2 is equal to 0. Okay, x squared, then 7 plus negative 2, that is 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. So therefore, for the roots 7 and negative 2, the quadratic equation is x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. Okay, now let's have the second example. So the roots, we have 5 and 5. So the formula, let's substitute. So x squared minus, so the sum we have 5 plus 5, copy the x, plus the product. So 5 times 5 is equal to 0. Okay, x squared minus 5 plus 5, we have 10x. And 5 times 5, we have 25, which is equal to 0. So therefore, the quadratic equation is x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to 0. Okay, last example, we have r sub 1 is 7i and r sub 2 is equal to negative 7i. Okay, let's substitute. So, x squared minus r sub 1 is 7i and r sub 2 is negative 7i, copy the x. Plus the product, 7i times negative 7i is equal to 0. Okay, x squared, 7i plus negative 7i there x therefore that is equivalent to 0x so we have here negative 49 i squared is equal to 0 okay so x squared minus 49 and i squared there is equal to negative 1 so let's substitute so we have here negative 1 is equal to 0 so x squared plus 49 is equal to 0 so the equation for the root 7i and negative 7i is x squared plus 49, which is equal to 0. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much.